Hi there everyone, uh, thanks for joining us again. We're Travel with Johnny and Will. Um, this is day five of our cruise on Morella Voyager. It's the inaugural cruise um, and we've been on board since the 3rd of June. And uh, today we are docked in the port of Livorno. Um, so we'll just get on with the video and tell you uh, how we spent our day. Yeah, so we hadn't been to the main dining room for breakfast yet, so we decided, right, we want to check that out. There was plenty of options on the menu on Latitude, and we'll throw up a wee picture of it here. I had a quite a limited range. I only had the um, Rice Krispies, and I had cream cheese and bacon on my bagel. Yeah, Will's not a fan of cooked breakfasts, uh, so he's not, yeah, I know, it is a bit weird. Um, the, <laughs> but um, every day in Latitude, um, Morella does like an express breakfast, which is like a cooked breakfast. They do like a full cooked breakfast, but each day they then do two specials. So one of the specials today uh, was the corned beef hash, uh, which I had, and it was served with a fried egg on top, and I had that with two hash browns, and it was yummy. And a great way to start our day. Yeah, uh, I'm also a real big fan of birch or muesli. Um, I, I have it every day and on a cruise ship. Never made it at home, but I have it every day when I'm on a cruise. <laughs> um, so breakfast was really good and the staff were quite attentive as well in that dining room. So after breakfast, I headed to the coffee port. I wanted to get some social media work done and just grab a nice iced coffee. Yeah, the coffee port, um, as we said before, um, there is a small charge unless you're on the premium all-inclusive package. Um, but they, they, as well as normal coffees and teas, they, as well as he gets a nice coffee. Um, but they also do soft drinks as well. Um, I think at one point you were like downing a J2O. Yeah, as well. Um, whenever <laughs> I met up with you. Um, <clears throat> so then um, after that we went for a walk out on deck. It was a beautiful morning. Uh, we wanted to go and check out the veranda area uh, and cabanas. Um, the veranda area is um, an adults only area of the ship for anybody who, uh, for those that are sun worshippers. And um, and the cabanas then you pay for, and there's a daily charge, um, which we will throw up the price on screen for you now. And what is a cabana, Johnny? How would you describe it? Uh, like an enclosed sunbed? It's sort of like half enclosed, and it's like a round um, shape, probably the size of a bed, would it be? Yeah, I wouldn't fancy it. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I, I don't feel they're very private. Um, no. I probably would just prefer to like land the balcony if that was the case. Yeah, um, definitely. Because basically, like what you, well, we'll show you in the video here. Mm -hmm. But like, we'll just sort of peer round and you know. You know, I could look in and see. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah. luckily, the one that he did look in, nobody had paid for. Otherwise, <laughs> no. they'd be quite embarrassed to be on screen now. So after that, um, we decided to go up to the kitchens. Uh, we we were going to be going out this afternoon, so we wanted a light lunch. So we went to the kitchens. Yeah, I grabbed <clears> something <throat> from. Anthena's, yeah, is it? Anthena's. The Greek style restaurant, chicken thigh on a pita with a nice sauce and hummus. So it was very sort of Greek authentic food. Um, it was actually really nice. I yeah, really enjoyed it. Yeah, it looked really good. Um, I really wanted something quite light, so I went to the uh, pantry um, and they do um, sort of uh, toasties, uh, paninis, uh, and sort of filled rolls. So I had a couple of filled, sorry, I had a filled roll and a sausage roll, I think it was, yeah. And um, both really tasty, and uh, the staff, they're all sitting chilled, and the staff just put them into one of their super quick ovens. Subway oven. <laughs> yeah, that's like, you know, that's what Will said yesterday. He says, it's like we're standing in Subway here. Um, I also had a really uh, nice little bowl with uh, rice and it was like chicken and chorizo that they heated as well. It was really tasty. We had an excursion plan to go to Pisa and obviously we wanted to see the Leaning Tower. Um, this was um, assigned to us at quarter past two, which is a bit odd because normally on an excursion you go out early and you come back. There was people coming back before we'd even left. Yeah. So it did feel a bit odd. Uh, so we booked this excursion uh, before online before we came away. Um, we'll throw up the cost on screen now, but our um, excursion was called Pisa on your own. So we chose this because uh, my mum and aunt wanted to see the Leaning Tower. And this excursion basically took you from Livorno by bus, dropped you off at the coach park, and then there was about a 15 minute walk to Miracle Square. Yeah. Um, and just something to note about Pisa is that buses cannot get right next to the Leaning Tower of Pisa and the yeah, cathedral they, and they can't the get to Miracle Square. They can only get to that 
Coach Park, which will throw up where that is on the map, and then you must walk. Yeah. So you have to be able to walk, or... There is a little trolley train you can take. Um, I, I do know that the cruise line was offering um, that as an add-on to the excursions. Um, I think one of the excursions included that. Um, but my mum was happy to uh, to walk. Um, but she wanted to come with us, basically, was yeah. the main thing. Uh, so uh, we decided on that excursion because we sort of knew the route. And if we got lost, there was Google Maps. Um, and it meant then that she didn't feel under pressure to have to keep up with the group. Yeah, so what what happened basically, even though the lady, the guide with her 29, the, her flag number flag. 29 flag, she knew that there was two people with walking aids on the bus. She, she walked at a pace which was much too quick. So basically I sort of lay in between as a, I could see that group, but I could still also see you guys. Yeah. Um, and that worked okay, but if <laughs> well the thing is it might not have worked the, the thing is I there, wasn't there <laughs> yeah but there, there are easier options for those you know, there is an easier option yeah. for people with walking uh, and mobility issues um, but give the guide her, her credit um, she did wait after the group then all sort of congregated together and she told them the meeting point before the walk back before she went off and did her own thing, yeah. she did hang around so that she could wait for us, the, uh, the yeah. three last, uh, so that she could then tell us where the meeting point in that was, even though she'd already told Will. Yeah. So fair play she, uh, to Sandra for doing that. So we got, we were left at a little, um, like a market square, just outside of the walls of the little Pisa vicinity. And um, we took a little dander down to the gate. Mm -hmm. And obviously then we saw the splendour that is Pisa. Yeah, so uh, in Miracle Square, um, you have obviously the um, Baptistery of St. John, and uh, you then have the Cathedral Pisa, and then obviously there's the Leaning Tower, you know, the Bell Tower. Um, you can, if you want, obviously go into the tower and walk to the very top. I think the guy had said there's something like over 450 steps. So I don't think we could have managed that today. Um, maybe someday. Um, but one thing to note is that even to get into the cathedral and things, um, you do need, do need a ticket, yeah. it's a free ticket. But we didn't realise until we walked up to the door of the cathedral. So poor Will hot footed it back to the ticket office and um, they give him a ticket and then literally we just were able to walk straight on in. Yeah, them. and I'll insert that footage in here so you know exactly where to go. It's part of the museum that's on the it's sort of the right hand side as you go in. The um, it, it faces all these buildings, so yeah. it's and it's listed as a museum. Yeah. So we got our pictures and of course there's thousands of people in Miracle Square. They're all doing their poses and they're they're you know, catching the tar this yeah. way and, and pushing the tar that way. And a lot of people don't know how to work their phones or their cameras. Yeah, uh, luckily Will was there. The last time <laughs> we visited Pisa five years ago on our very first ever cruise, we nearly fell out. There nearly wasn't a YouTube channel no. um, because I straightened the tar in the photos that I did with Will. <laughs> um, so, we um, might insert those pictures in here uh, let's, no, <laughs> let's not do that. Um, um, but uh, so yeah it was a nice day it was super hot and um, it was and I think it was quite taxing on my mum and aunt so after we got our pictures and things um, we took a little stroll to a nearby cafe and had a bit of a dessert and ice cream and a cold drink uh, just yeah. to, to rest for a while um, we then made our way back to the meeting point and again you sort of walk through a little market um, that sells souvenirs bags everything it is just worth noting as well that there are um, there's street traders and then there's other men that literally walk about holding things. Yeah, they have all the stuff in their arms and yeah. when you see the police they run. Yes. <laughs> we so, saw that. <laughs> yeah. So it is just worthwhile just to you know that you know if you don't want to buy from somebody like that there is plenty of market stalls and uh, street traders that are paying a license to trade um, uh, you know and that you know, it's worthwhile just to take in your trade to them, you know, as opposed to the, the ones that are walking around. They can be very in your face at mm -hmm. times, uh, but we just sort of put our hands just, up. Just be persistent and say, no, you're yeah. not interested. Not interested. Walk on. Thank you, walk on. No, not be. So we made our return coach journey um, back to Laverno. Yeah, we were back at the ship at about, was it half past six, a quarter past Yeah, we past were six? basically the last 
excursion to be back but um, obviously the benefit of booking with the ship is that the ship will never leave without you mm -hmm. so do, you, we didn't have to worry about that although some people were actually getting worried and it, we were like well no it's we're not fine. worried at all yeah, we're not it's worried fine. at all yeah I don't think Will and I are, are, are made for running uh, down the pier and neither my aunt and mum so um, they, uh, that would have been a laugh yeah um, <clears throat> but yeah so we just came back up to our cabin uh, got a cold drink at the coffee port on the way up uh, to then get uh, freshened up and changed then for our evening. So tonight we dined um, at Nonna's, which is the onboard pizza and pasta restaurant. It is located at the back on deck 11 next to the summer house. Yeah, um, it's included in your cruise fare, yeah. um, so we really recommend that you go there. Um, it's quite um, it's quite good the way they, they have it all laid out in that you go in and you sit down, they give you a little order form yep. um, and you basically just mark on it what sort of pasta you want, what sort of sauce, what your toppings are and on the reverse of that page there's the pizza and again you just tick off what uh, toppings you want. Um, I had pasta, um, like a bolognese pasta and I added some red onion and bacon and it was a nice addition, I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, I had a pizza and I added pepperoni and pineapple. I know, that's, that's not good. No. Really, we should just break up now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, um, it, was, it, was, it was super nice. Um, they, uh, to begin with, when you're waiting on your food coming, they bring you a little bowl with a little sort of green salad in it and then a couple of slices of focaccia bread. And, um, with olive oil and balsamic. Yeah, so we're, we're always... And that sort of sets you off, doesn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. we're, we're always a fan of bread with a bit of olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. Just to note in Nana's, um, the food is served when it's ready. Yeah. So my pizza came out, must have been about five minutes before your pasta, but that doesn't ensure then that everybody's food is fresh. And yeah. we don't mind that. If it's good enough for Wagamama's, then that's fine by us. Mm -hmm. um, and for dessert then, I had the tiramisu and you had uh, the panna cotta. Yeah. yeah. And, and they were fine. Yeah, yeah. really good. Um, and after dinner then, we uh, headed down to the Broadway Show Lounge um, tonight. The show cast on board, it was their turn to take to the stage again in a show called uh, Movies of the Musicals. So um, we're both a fan of musicals and both a fan of movies um, and uh, it was great to see the show cast back doing their thing on stage. Um, they had um, little sort of uh, snippets from different musicals obviously yeah. that were turned into movies such as Little Shop of Horrors, um, there was uh, Evita, there was Grace, and then their finale. Should we tell them uh, what the finale is? No. No. If you're watching this video, just go to the show. We don't want to tell you what the finale is, but it's really good. Yeah. Um, uh, so make sure you go to see that show. As you know, folks, from watching our vlogs, uh, we mostly go to the show lounge every night. Um, one thing we do like about the Morella show lounges is whenever you go in, um, there's always a little uh, table set up with bar staff there. And they'll normally have beers, uh, Prosecco, and a few uh, cocktails like a rum punch. And I think, think they have wines them. as well. They do yeah, have they have wine. wines yeah. as well. Uh, so there's always, you know, you're always able to grab a quick drink then before you go and enjoy the show. So after the show, we decided to have a drink at Aperitif, which is one of the more smaller bars on board. It's located on deck seven next to Surf and Turf in Corla, and it is intended as a before drink f before going into those restaurants. Yeah, yeah. Um, we can still hear a bit of the music that was going on from the other bars nearby. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it was quite busy last night. Uh, yeah, but, it was. But we didn't have the difficulty getting a seat. Um, no. And that's the one thing we've loved, uh, and we've said this before in our vlogs. Well, we, we had difficulty getting gin in a gin goblet glass. It, it was served in, like, a tumbler. Terrible. Um, Terrible. Yeah, but that doesn't really bother us, but we heard other people complaining that, oh, they keep running out of glasses and they keep running out of drinks. Yeah. But that was the first that we'd experienced any of that, so... Yeah. Well, one thing we have to say is that even if the bars are busy, the staff are working incredibly work hard. hard. Yeah. Um, I was standing at the bar one night and I remember uh, I was standing next to another lady and we sort of just looked at each other and looked at the bar staff and they were literally running like ragged. 
And I actually turned around and said to her, I don't think I could do that job. I said, if I, if I honestly had to do this, I'd probably tell people just to go and get their own drink or go home. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so they, they do work incredibly hard. So just bear with them, folks, you know. So after our drinks, we decided um, we would head up to the kitchens and uh, check out the late night snacks, uh, which we were glad we did. Um, because they had butter chicken on, yeah, oh, it was and really, we both really love good. butter chicken. It's one of the dishes we actually enjoy cooking at home. So yeah. we had some of that with rice, and um, and then we decided then just to have a nightcap, and we went out the back of the ship and sat at the aft outside the summer house uh, for a couple of drinks uh, before uh, retiring back to our cabin. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified the next time we post a new video. Um, yeah, this is the fifth in our series, so if you haven't already caught up by now, check out the other videos. We'll put some of them in the end card for you now. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye. Bye.